the end there. So just finished another week out at the Fit and Fire compound and uh, I feel like I didn't get anything accomplished but in retrospect we actually did get a lot done. Um, there was trash all over the place that we picked up and um, just a little odds and ends projects and we'll talk about that in this video. So come on with me this way and uh, we'll take a look at the first thing that we did was right up on the uh, hillside there as we put in a deer feeder for uh, the antelope that is around here. There's one particular buck that uh, comes around every morning and snorts at us to wake us up. Uh, his name's Charlie and uh, we say hi to Charlie every morning. Uh, but we put that up there for for them to have some really good eats around here instead of the sage and uh, got a salt lick so maybe uh, come hunting season we'll have something um, interesting to look at or maybe even try to harvest so we'll see about that one of the things that I did want to accomplish is walk the entire ground and that's something I really did uh, enjoy doing and come up this way uh, we are able to get to the southern the southwestern corner right there on top of that rock feature that's the southwestern corner and then back over this way is the southeastern corner one of the projects that we were able to accomplish was to install a gate um, right there it's a lot easier than trying to unhook bob wire to get in and get out to the property so that was really nice and then uh, explored the, the northern boundaries as well so come this way and we'll look at some of the other projects we were able to consolidate a lot of the odds and ends stuff we've got some tools here we got a fire pit that we set up and used we've got this uh, this platform here that I think that was used uh, on the trailer on the property and then just kind of stacked up some of the uh, wood that we found around uh, the property as well and then here we have this old meth house with the two vehicles and the camper as well did a really good job of looking over all the uh, items um, was able to get the tires inflated on all of the vehicles which is nice but unfortunately was unable to get either one of them started so uh, I think that we can get the car started but the uh, Explorer itself I think it's done so over this way all of this right here had just tons and tons of trash we were able to get a lot of this picked up and uh, taken away um, and a lot of it we stored inside the, uh, the meth house I was able to pick the lock on this guy right here um, I was actually really surprised that I was able to do it but uh, I had been practicing some lock picking stuff and uh, was able to pick this which was really nice uh, so that I could take the propane bottles that were on here and take them home with me because those are probably one of the more valuable things that we have uh, on the property. In addition to that, we also found two wind turbines that was stored in the vehicles as well. I'm guessing that those are probably, um, I don't know, 100 or $200 a piece. So, you know, um, we might be looking at about $500 worth of stuff that I was able to salvage from this place. We got this generator here um, that I might be able to fix back up and figure out something to do with. And if not, 
just scrap it, I guess. Uh, was able to get inside the camper, pick that lock, and I uh, was able to get inside that, so that was pretty awesome. Um, it is pretty nasty in there, so uh, I'm hoping to find someone to scrap it, but we'll we'll just have to wait and see. But it is rat infested and just nasty. And then coming up here to the the meth house. There's still a little bit of odds and ends, just small pieces of trash here and there, but we've got all of this area cleaned up and uh, we just dumped it right inside here. Um, and you can see this place is just, just disgusting. So um, dumped it all in there and I think the intent is to burn this thing to the ground. Um, one of the great things about this week was being able to meet some of the neighbors around here and uh, being able to network. And that is one of the most important aspects about living out here in rural Wyoming is creating a network of people that uh, you trust and they trust you. And, you know, it's all about helping each other out. And that's something I found out this week and I've been uh, very, very blessed with that. So um, the neighbor just to my west says that he's going to help me uh get rid of this uh meth lab and uh we're gonna pretty much burn it and bury it uh he's got equipment to be able to do that so uh that's going to be a huge help um one one thing that we are going to do is we're going to salvage this this uh the stove right here is going to be pretty instrumental in keeping the new fit and fire compound cabin nice and toasty in the cooler months and uh, but we're going to leave this here for now and come out on the next trip and haul it home since we have so much stuff uh, so we'll go ahead and close this up there's our janky lock and yeah come out here and one of the things that we are able to do is get up onto the high ground and watch the sunsets at night that was beautiful uh, northern corners is just around the hillside there you can see the tip of the tree it's just beyond the tip of the tree on the hilltop there and then uh, on the other side the north um the northwest corner is clear on the other side of this rock feature here so um I, I tell you first time i came out here i wasn't sure how to feel about it of course there was a lot of snow and i uh, didn't really get an understanding of what was uh out here but this week was just an awesome week um and really got a good feel for the land out here and i just absolutely love it um i hate to hate to head out of here but uh it's that time one of the cool things though that i also found out is that uh, you see that i'm wearing some german flecturn this camouflage actually blends in with the rock features very very well so uh, i will probably wear flecturn out here for a lot of the hunting and camping and hiking expeditions that I have out here. So there you have it. Uh, another update on the Fit and Fire compound. It's been a great week. I've really enjoyed my time out here and I uh, can't wait to get back out here and get a lot more work done. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. As always, freedom through strength. Take care guys. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.